bag. You know, getting oh, it's it. A, a, catch some of those crappie. I some love crappie. Big old slabs yes, for fish fries in the spring. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Lots of things to do here in East Texas, and all of those ponds and takes and lakes. Uh, getting a lot of rain tonight and that's a good thing. <laughs> yes, they are Casey and we really do need to see the rain. We mm -hmm. were talking about this last night. Tyler, Longview, Lufkin, pretty much all of East Texas ran mm -hmm. a big deficit of rainfall in the year 2023 mm -hmm. and this is exactly the start we needed and there you go folks. We do have damp roadways in Tyler right now and this is going to be the case all night tonight. Temperatures at 43 winds are out of the south at five miles per hour. Dew point in the air temperature. They have kind of merged together now, which does mean we've got more opportunities of rain over the next few hours. Here's live Viper radar. Some heavier showers to the southeast of Tyler along Highway 259 and Highway 69 there. We'll zoom in to the rain that we have coming into Henderson and Van Zant County. A pretty good light rain falling right now, and that will continue to be the case over the next several hours. Most of us have fallen into the 40s now. Texarkana, look at that, down to 39 degrees already. It's 40 43 in Tyler, 43 in Longview. I don't expect a freeze tonight. That would be a problem because we've got rain in the area, but I do expect temperatures to fall into the upper 30s and lower 40s a little later on tonight. And along with that, we are going to continue to see the rain, especially in deep east Texas through at least midnight. Afterwards, I do expect that rain to become more spotty in nature, and we'll just be dealing with mostly cloudy skies as we move into tomorrow morning. But as the storm system System moves further and further away. I do expect a few more breaks in the clouds tomorrow afternoon. And if those breaks happen early enough, I do expect our temperatures to warm into the lower 50s, and then that will be followed by a light freeze tomorrow night, just given the fact that, yeah, I mean, we've got the skies clearing, we've got a drier air mass moving in. It's going to allow those temperatures to plummet tomorrow night. But tomorrow, 40s in the morning, 50s in the afternoon, assuming we do see those cloud breaks, but rain does come to an end probably right around daybreak. That's the first rain chance we had. I was mentioning to Casey, this is the start we needed because not only do we have this rain chance tonight, we've got two others to talk about. This is Friday midday future cast illustrating quite a bit of rain. So if you have those plans on Friday, I would consider or at least reconsider them or move them indoors because Friday does look like a widespread rain event and then Saturday, Sunday we get a break, but storms in the forecast for Monday could even see some strong to severe thunderstorms in deep East Texas where the Storm Prediction Center has already highlighted a slight risk. But again, folks, that's six days ahead of us. We still need to see Friday's rainfall come to fruition. Temperatures in the 40s Friday, 50s Saturday, lower 60s Sunday. Storm chances arrive Monday. Casey and thank you coming up in sports.